I may hate drama in my life, but I love talking about the drama in yours. I may watch too much reality TV, but you're listening to me talk about it. Hello everyone, this is Fumi. And this is B. And you tuned in to Reality V. I am going to let you guys know right now, I have a huge fucking headache. <laughs> <laughs> I literally just came in from LA driving to Vegas and came straight to the studio. It was probably, I don't even know how much traffic, but it was too much. And it took me about seven hours to get out here. Isn't that nice? Ah, good old L.A. Mm, my God. I yeah. just picked the wrong day to come back out here. So Yeah. Between people coming back, afternoon traffic in L.A., just all bad as well. Oh, my God. It was horrendous. And I had made the mistake of going to downtown first and leaving from there. So I got caught on, like, the 101 and the 10. And oh. the 15 was crazy. Take the 40 to Needles. Got oh. off of a side street and was in the middle of nowhere for an hour with no reception. It was just... Oh, Jesus. You know, it's just, I'm over it. I'm yeah. just glad my son wasn't with me because he was like, I'm going to get out of the car. <laughs> so, but I guess the good thing is that I'll be kid free for like a week and a half. So, yeah, yeah. Where it's a little, uh, there's some good. So, that's yeah. good. How was your Christmas? It was amazing. Probably the best Christmas I've had in about four to five years. And that's good. Yeah. Um, got to spend a few days with friends that I haven't seen in a while and then was able to bring it on over to family time. And that was a lot of fun. Got some good unexpected gifts. I didn't know I was still on people's gift list. So <laughs> that's always nice. Right. <laughs> well, yep. Good. How about yours? Mine was pretty crazy in the sense that I was, like, visiting people. Yeah. So, um, I saw Marcus. I saw my friend Shauna. Mm -hmm. I saw my old coworker today before I headed out. Maybe that was a mistake. I don't know. Because <laughs> <laughs> I went to downtown. Right, like, right. Where her building is. And we just had lunch and whatever, Sizzler. Yeah, well, which, that's good. Which is always good, but... Good time to catch up. Christmas is cool. I got my wonderful expected gifts from my grandma, like fuzzy socks. Mm -hmm. They're so soft. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot wait to, like, put them on. Oh, yeah. And just be warm. So, and then my mom got me, like, some smell goods. And, yeah. And Malachi got me this, um, it's like... What you call them? hand paint? Hand, yeah, hand prints. Yeah, calendar. Aww. So they've had hand prints on each month. So January is like the growth. A uh, hand print of his hand that turned to a snowman. Aww, February that's so cute. was like a hand that made a heart. Aww. March is like a leprechaun. I yeah. don't know how he made a leprechaun with his hand, but I was like, "Is that a leprechaun?" He's like, "Yeah." I was Very like, creative. So it was really, really cute and thoughtful. So that's precious. I, probably the best gift. Yeah. Now my son got the whole world, of course, and then some. <laughs> Of course, he gravitated to the puppy's calendar because mm -hmm. he's obsessed with like calendars and time and clocks. Yeah. And so he was pretty happy about that. But and then he got slime, shoes, clothes, puzzle. Aww. Just, I got him like a bed set and some clothes yeah. and all that. So it was cool. I went to the movies last night. Oh. That's why I'm so probably so fucking tired. Yeah. Because I didn't go <laughs> till like 11.15. Yeah. And I went to go see Star Wars. Star oh, Jesus. Star Wars. Mm -hmm. And it was really good. Now, yeah. I'm not a huge Star Wars fanatic. I just like action movies and picture and sound and all that. And when I say I jumped... When yeah. the music started, I first of all I saw it in 3D IMAX. Yeah. It was so good. I actually took a video. <laughs> Cause I was like, I want people to hear what I hear. Yeah. So hold on. Let's see. Oh, it's not that loud. 
<laughs> it was really good nice. music. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, I think um, they won Oscars for, like, their scores. I think. Uh, they better win for their score this yeah. time. But anyway. I know to probably, like, fanatics, they're like, that's nothing. Basic. It was like, <laughs> and it was clear. Yeah. I mean, obviously, it's IMAX, so it was clear, beautiful, yeah. the seats were like rumbling the popcorn was good mind you it was only like eight people in the theater so yeah. that made it even better um i'm oh, glad yeah. i didn't go like opening weekend because i heard yeah. it was like sold out and yeah there was like some type of riot at a theater because the movie picture went out or something like that and oh, wow. all these like star wars geeks was like i want my money back yeah <laughs> so, <laughs> I think they were more pissed that they couldn't watch the actual movie. But, yeah. Um, overall, just kind of how my week has been. I know people are having, you know, happy, fun times with their family and mm-hmm. eating and getting fat. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we woke up and, like, made brunch. And, of course, I was in charge of the mimosas. And of course. It was just really nice and really fun. Then, like, my younger cousins who were graduating high school one of them she bought over her boyfriend Ooh, how was he did you oh he him? was really nice well it was funny because i thought he was our younger cousin that spent the night so my oh. cousin she has like the big bean bags bags that like three people can lay on oh. so i thought it was my younger cousin so i went and like jumped on him and was like hey and i was like oh <laughs> wrong person Hello. and yeah <laughs> And everyone just started dying. Was like, yeah. And that's how she was like, Roberta. This is RJ. I was like, I'm sorry. <laughs> nice to meet what you. What a wonderful introduction yeah. to somebody. <laughs> like, right. uh, this is my cousin. Cousin, this, this is my sorry. boyfriend. <laughs> so yes, that was fun. <laughs> I'd be like, ooh, sorry. Right. I was like, ooh, <laughs> wrong person. I was, Wrong child. Yeah, I was like, sorry. <laughs> and that's funny. Um, I had um, left a gift at home like a dumbass. <laughs> so now I have to figure out how I'm going to get it to my sister. Or I can just keep it for myself. I don't know. Something yeah. I can utilize to. Keep it, mail it. Yeah, I don't want to mail it because that's money. <laughs> and I already spent money paying for it. I you know. know. I have to mail off like three gifts now. I'm like, huh. Okay, fine. Yeah, it's like, I don't know. Especially when you were just with that person. It's like, yeah. And then I left, what else did I leave? The air mattress I bought. I left that. I left my fucking Fenty Beauty, like, highlighter, contour. Oh, girl. And shimmer. I left my Fenty primer. So what the fuck am I going to do with my life? Like... <laughs> What was your packing process like? <laughs> Very like, I'm only taking this fucking duffel bag. I'm not taking <laughs> shit else. I don't know. I got old, as I got older, I'm like, pack, I pack less and less. Yeah. Because it's just, yeah. I don't feel like dealing with it. But I don't know. Maybe because as I was going to my grandma's house, I wasn't like, so, okay, let me make sure I have everything right down, like my list. and Yeah. And I was just like. I really just packed like maybe an hour before I left. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, overall, I got like important stuff. I just didn't have the right kind of shimmer when I did my makeup. Ah. And yeah. So, I don't know. It's just crazy. Um, oh my God. So, I have something funny to tell you. Mm hmm. So, you know, I'm on this little dating dating journey, uh-huh. and this guy had, like, messaged me or whatever. Yeah. And then we wind up, like, texting. First offense was like, oh, you look like you smoke weed. Oh. I said, um, Whoa. I said, oh, wow, no, I don't. Yeah. No LOL, no yeah. laughing emoji. Like, how is that supposed to give me any type of interest yeah. in you. It's one thing to ask somebody like, oh, do you smoke or drink? Yeah. But it's a one thing to say you look like you smoke. How do, How do I you... look like I smoke weed? Right. I know people who look like they smoke weed <laughs> and do. And, and I don't yeah. look like now That's of those crazy. people. That was the first offense. Then he wind up calling me, which is actually 
I guess yeah. you can call it brownie points because people don't really call people anymore. Yeah. So he called me and I appreciated his honesty and being upfront. But he actually just got out of jail in October. Oh, and he okay. was in jail for eight months. All right. And I'm sitting here like, why are you telling me just now? Like, we've only talked on the phone for like literally like three minutes. Right. Why are you telling me this? However, thank you for telling me exactly. this. Exactly. <laughs> and good day. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, yeah, you know, I just got to jail. He was in jail for eight months. Oh. And apparently he might have went to jail before because he had like a gun charge. Oh. It sounded like some some crazy ass locked up shit. Oh, wow. And he was like, yeah, California, it is wild. And I'm, I'm sitting here like. Oh, my God. What's wild? Did, first, Beach? first of all, like it's what? like, did you legally purchase this weapon? Or <laughs> because yeah. there has to be a reason why you got arrested for having a gun. Yeah, you can no... have a registered weapon, but yeah. for you to, I'm like, I don't know. I don't. Maybe he's not telling me all the details. Of course, but he, he isn't. <laughs> or it was just it was an illegal gun. He didn't have the license to I have it. Don't know at all. So. Um, he called, and so I'm like, okay, well, I was like, well, I'm about to, you know, get ready to go to bed or whatever. And he's all right. He called me, ma'am, which is, I'm like, okay, he's yeah. apparently from Miami. Mm. So I'm like, okay, well, I see where that's from. So it's like, okay, you got brownie points for like being honest with me, but you got like negative points because you've been to jail, right? Um, I don't know anybody who's been arrested. No, no. And I sure as hell ain't going to say free so-and-so. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever they did, they did that shit. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> they did that shit. Uh-uh. Not, I want no parts. You right. did what? <laughs> well, to <who>? your ass <laughs> in jail. <laughs> no. Yeah. I don't, I don't want eat that. I want no parts. Like, yeah. I'm going to need to be able for you to go to work, and I'm not worried that. You're going to get arrested or shot. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, yes, black men do get pulled over more than other people. However, I've known plenty of my black male friends that have not going, gone to jail no, afterwards. No, haven't been there. Nope. <laughs> Never seen it. Right. Never, plenty of men in my is. family don't know. Mm-mm. No, don't think so. No, not at all. Yeah. So that was... I guess kind of the weird thing of my week. Yeah. It's like dating is so fucking weird. It is. It but is. But I'm going to make sure I'm kind of like forcing myself to do it because mm-hmm. I don't know why I get so bored easily. But yeah. <laughs> no, I'm trying to just sense. do things different. I'm not going to wait till, you know, new year, new me mm-hmm. <laughs> to, to, to do different things. Right. And all that. But. You have anything else interesting happen within the past seven days? Um, let's see. Time with friends. When the three of us get together, no one can decide on anything as usual. <laughs> and in the heat of that annoyance, I kind of was like, oh, I miss these bitches. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like, it wouldn't be right if we could just make a schedule, do it. And <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, if lateness wasn't involved, it wouldn't be us. So, yeah. Um, so that was always fun. Mm-hmm. Oh, we went to our little favorite dive bar in L.A. And usually every time we go, there's someone that's semi-famous or just known that's around there. And this mm-hmm. week, it was none, a, none other than Basketball Wives Miami alum, Jennifer... Williams. Williams. Why well, do I almost say Lewis? Not Lewis. <laughs> Jennifer Lewis is fucking funny. Right. Fun. If she would have been there, I'd be like, oh, nope, nope. I need a picture. I need. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, Jennifer Williams was there. Very beautiful skin. Pretty lady beautiful in person. Beautiful skin. I'll give her that. Um, so yeah, that was that. She um, needed a day out after having all that drama with Tim right. from Sweetie Pies. Like, right. And she knew probably that's what people was looking at her at too. Like, hmm. I <laughs> didn't even know they bro- broke up. Yeah. I didn't even know they are dating until I saw the last season yeah. of Sweetie Pies. I just felt like it was so awkward. I mean, I guess she she did say she didn't want to like date anymore, like basketball. Right. Or so she people, got like so. a somewhat normal 
Right. He's a businessman, though. He's right. not like a bum. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, well, cool. Family oriented. Things like that. Yeah. So I guess it's like, okay, well. You did what you said. True. So. Yeah. There's, you know, evidence of that. Right. Um, But just this whole police report and. Right. Uh, well. Goodness gracious. Right. We shall find out. Um, On the way back to home in the good old Inland Empire, I, too, also went on a little brunch date. That well, how was How did fun. that go? Um, It went really good. It was, I was a little nervous at first because it was with, like, a friend that I had been just only friends with uh, for, like, 10, 11 years and mm-hmm. hadn't really seen him. So mm-hmm. I was kind of like, oh, what if I you know, get here and it's like, can I leave now? <laughs> but no, mm-hmm. after like five, ten minutes, it was like, it was a lot of fun. Okay. Um, we watched the game, talked game. about sports, uh, football, who was playing. I was going for the Seahawks. Ah. He was going for the other team. <laughs> I forgot who the other team was. Um, yeah, so we just had a good conversation. The Seahawks up. Seattle? Um, yes, that's uh, Russell Wilson's team. Oh, yeah, so that's why that's I was right. like, I gotta go. I gotta go for good old Russ. <laughs> <laughs> I root for him. <laughs> so, yeah, it was fun. So, we'll see. So, it was good. Yeah, it was good. Had me a mimosa. Oh. Wanted a few more, but I was like, okay, I'm getting on the road, so I'll keep it at one. Mm-mm, yeah. You know how Mimosa's that goes. Mimosa's always good, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, not like that one time we were in Irvine. <laughs> no, no, definitely cannot I was down so the mimosas drunk, that day. You guys. We could I had not. to like sit in the car for like two, three hours to sober <laughs> up. We were running around the mall in Irvine with all these white people. <laughs> Just a ratchet mess. It was so much fun though. I'm sure they were like, this is why we come to Irvine. <laughs> to get away from and people like And not or something like that. You know those oh, my head is blatant getting worse. stereotypes. Oh. <laughs> like what? Crenshaw is in a city. It's a street. <laughs> The street goes all the way from Palace Verde. Right, all so the way what part of Crenshaw? Shaw. Because if you catch me on the east side. <laughs> it's like you got to be all right, bitch. Right. Slow down. The Let's... property value might be more. <laughs> it goes all the way from literally to almost an ocean. Hollywood, yeah. To Wilshire. Yeah. And then it, that's when it stops. But you got to say what part of Crenshaw right. Boulevard because not all yeah. of Crenshaw is the hood. If I ever hear somebody racist say that, sometimes I'm Crenshaw but which part, bitch? Because <laughs> <laughs> one, both both ends of Crenshaw are million dollar <laughs> homes, bitch. bitch. <laughs> I'm in the middle. <gasps> <gasps> How dare you? <laughs> uh, so, yes. Anyway, I mean, I'm glad you had a good date. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. But it's not like, hell no, I want no parts. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's what I was kind of scared of. Like, oh, my God, I'm going to walk in here and walk right back out. Oh, but like no. a Porsche? Yeah. Her day. <laughs> <laughs> Let me church finger on out of here. Right. I was like, okay, it was fun. It was a good time. Yeah. But, I mean, once again, this is a rogue episode because, mm-hmm. like I said, I just literally got back from vegas i have not been home i haven't eaten anything you know what else pissed me off during my ride (laughs) you know i don't like i have like a no stopping for the bathroom oh yeah i stopped twice oh yeah seven hours yeah about yeah about seven hours in the car so that was annoying because i just went to the bathroom came out and that automatically adds like 10 to 15 minutes so twice it's like an extra half an hour just because. And then the second time I went, it was in the middle. Like I said, I was in the middle of nowhere. And I turned. I'm like, is this a pit stop? Okay, let me just pull over. <laughs> like, all these people yeah. were, I guess, Google Maps was just telling Everybody everyone to, to take this side street. Because it was like, if I would have stayed on the 15, it was yeah. an extra hour and a half My to stay on the 15. And I was like, I, I can't do this. Yeah, Let me go. And then yeah. somebody somebody almost hit a coyote. Like, <laughs> oh my God. Not I said, is, the that, coyote. is that a coyote? The fuck? Oh my God. I'm not yeah. ready. <laughs> not yeah. for a coyote. 
But it was like I'm kind of like a stargazer, so it's, it was in an area where it wasn't like a lot of light pollution. Oh. So you did see more stars like in the sky, which I thought okay. was pretty cool. But that's cool. I mean, it's interesting. Do I want to take those side streets? No, because no. it's like a street for thirty miles. Make a right, went to the restroom, and then the street for another twenty nine miles. Before yeah. I got back on the 15th. At least you weren't, like, the only one on the street. No. So that's a plus. Yeah, no. It was pretty much, like, everyone who just took the detour were, yeah. was taking the same street. So y'all so. were all in this together. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. There was no, like, I don't know where I'm going. I don't see anybody for a mile in front of me or a mile in back yeah. of me. Like, it was pretty, um, I guess, safe, you can yeah. say. But it definitely was, like... God forbid I get in an accident and I have to pull over to the side, no I'm ones. getting murdered. Like, there's no way I'm going to stay alive. <laughs> and it was like 30 degrees over there. Yeah. It's freaking freezing. Well. But, um, on to some reality TV. I mean, obviously some shows didn't come on in the past couple of days because it's Christmas mm-hmm. and all that kind of stuff. So, Oh, wait. Ooh, you guys. Tea sippers. I have some important news. I think me and B have fucking made it because guess (laughs) what? We got blocked on Twitter. (laughs) We got blocked by two um, reality TV hopefuls, I guess. Yeah, hopefuls. The first one, which is I wasn't really surprised by it was fucking Siggy. <laughs> the soggy bitch blocked us. You didn't and say anything bad. No, I didn't say or anything. Or anything bad at all. I was mainly responding to someone else on our... So I I ran the, pretty much all the social media, you guys. Mm-hmm. So I was responding to someone else and just so happened to tag Siggy in it. But I wasn't saying anything to her her so i guess she saw it and said oh my god negativity let me get this negativity away parts of it and come to find out there have been other like roa i mean not roa real housewives in new jersey or just real housewives like pages who like siggy they Mm -hmm. liked her but they were like they felt like she overreacted with the whole soggy thing and with margaret And once they were so mad because they felt like as soon as they didn't show that quote unquote loyalty Siggy wants so much, she blocks everyone, everyone, even if you don't even say anything to her, even if it's like, well, yeah, I mean, I love you, Siggy, but you know, I just felt like you over. She blocks you. Not all my walks. <laughs> right. So she blocked. Our podcast Twitter, she blocked my personal Twitter because I share it on both. <laughs> and then I so happened to share a post on Instagram. Um, really just said, literally said, we're talking about the feud between Siggy and Margaret. And I tagged both of them. And she blocked us on that. So it's like, you are a sensitive ass soggy bitch. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, hopefully, you know, this year, new year, new you. So hopefully you can, um, I would say learn from this, but I did see that she posted on her Instagram, like a compilation of like disses that Margaret has, um, inflicted on her. And she had this long speech once again about how dare you mock my surgery and, Thousands of women have to have hysterectomies and But Hitler she never did. And wait, what? She never mocked her. She never even Oh, I thought you were about to say she never had a history. I was going to say, now this bitch is like, oh my <laughs> God. <laughs> Pick a struggle. <laughs> right? <laughs> that you. But yeah, and I was just like, you know, you just don't get it. And I kind of did scroll through the comments since you did say, like, if you even remotely disagree with her, she's like, blocked. And all of the comments, of course, was like, I love you and, you know, Team Siggy. And it was like one person that was like, you're so full of shit. I'm glad you're... <laughs> and her comment was still there. And I was like, how is this like the only comment? 
because there's so many that she, you know, I one falls it. through the cracks. It was so funny, but yeah. Um, and then you know, if you are really that sensitive of a person, maybe something like TV is not for you. But maybe... guess what? She ain't gonna be on next season. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Get yeah. the fuck out of here, oh, Siggy. Jesus. Yes, that's what she said. <laughs> so, you know. And it's like all her luck. supporters that, that she blocked for no fucking reason, all of them are now happy that you're not going to be on the next season. Like, oh, after after a long thought, I just feel like I don't think it's the best thing for me to be on the show. You are a weak-ass bitch. <laughs> it, it's, uh, yeah, she was just... At the end of the day... I really liked you last season, too. I did, too. I thought she was, like, a nice addition that was a little bit different yeah. on the show. But this is somebody that's supposed to be a relationship expert. Well, I remember that VH1 show she had where they were trying to do, like, I guess, a millionaire matchmaker part two. Uh-huh. And I'm not going to say she sucks at her job, but at the end of every episode, when they gave an update of the couple, none of them were still together. So she sucks at her job. I'm not saying that. I am. I'm just saying, according to the statistics that were placed on my TV that I read <laughs> in white font. <laughs> you know? <laughs> oh, my God. So, um, yeah, maybe she'll write a book or something about this. You know? I hope she does, like, a book tour. Oh, my God. No, you will not go. I was not going to say that. I'm not going to waste my time. But I did, you guys, I did mention to be like, wouldn't it be funny, like, I poke, post a uh, comment to her and tag her in and like, oh, Siggy, I love you. And then she'll be like, oh, my God, thank you. And I'm like, psych, bitch. I don't like your dumb ass. Oh my god! You just gonna start trolling reality stars? <laughs> like, psych! <laughs> what did Kelsey say? Burn! <laughs> no! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! That was so funny. The idea alone gives you way too much joy. <laughs> it, it does. And I would have screenshot it as soon as I put psych. That way when she deleted that theft proof. <laughs> Shouldn't have called me a fat ass. Kelly, Kelly Price. Price. <laughs> I mean, she's going to say, I have been to a Kelly Price concert. How dare, dare you, you mock me? And so what? How dare you mock my surgery, <laughs> bitch? What does that mean? You're not even Kelly Price. <laughs> like... No, it will be, I have struggled with weight. Oh, oh now. Oh, now struggling. you struggle with weight. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, <sighs> in the, the last episode of New Jersey, and B had to come out of her room and stare at the TV sideways of the all the stupidness that was coming out of her mouth. Because when I she can't believe this is Teresa. like a 40-something, and don't say she's in her 30s. I can't believe it's like a 40-something year old woman, like, with this bullshit. I want to say she's... 50. I want to say, yeah, because she has two grown kids. Well, dang near grown teenagers. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I was just like, wait, wait, did she just really say that? Like, anytime anyone makes Teresa Giudice sound logical, there's a problem. Even she was like, you think being an adultery? (laughs) (laughs) I didn't say her vocabulary. (laughs) She was like, yeah. She was like, you know, when I was called adultery, I just. (laughs) (laughs) Adultery? Really? Adultery? Right. She had a few grammar hiccups in that episode. She said ingredients. Yeah. I was like, Bravo is petty. (laughs) (laughs) So petty. They're like, hey, keep that in. Right. In the cutting room floor. like. (laughs) But anyway, the. Siggy and Teresa were talking, and she, Teresa was like, well, how is adultery? She was like, so adultery and soggy are the same thing? She was like, hurt oh, is hurt. hurt. And it's like, no, I mean, if your whole family just died in a house explosion, it's not the same hurt as if, you know, I just accidentally stumped on an ant, and I'm upset. <laughs> Stump on it! An <laughs> and then you're sitting an there ant? crying about your family, like, Fuck your fucking burnt family. What about this ant? God damn it. <laughs> like, no. Think about the ant. I've got a funeral to plan. I've got re- <laughs> to reach out to family members and friends of the deceased 
<laughs> and you're sitting there. I have to tell her I'm so sorry. <laughs> Like, no, bitch, all hurt is not the same. Like, but I, I kind of figured, because I didn't watch the first few episodes, but I remembered when she was like, because she doesn't let go of the fact of, like, Teresa, Margaret throwing, like, kind of like a little memorial for Teresa's mom. Yeah. And she just doesn't let it go that she was not invited. But it's not even that she wasn't invited. It was because she was mad, so she chose not to participate in the festivities. And then got mad when she found out that the festivities What's was that? a memorial. And then Teresa, being a somewhat kind-hearted individual, was like, well, I know you felt bad that you couldn't, you know, be in that experience, so... I decided to do this because, you know, it reminds me of my mom and wanted to bring you along. And she was like, well, I really appreciate that you would include Bitch, me. Bitch, it's not about you. It's not about you. I wish I would have a memorial for my friend because she couldn't make the other memorial or the funeral. What the fuck? <laughs> B, I just want to let you know right now, <laughs> if I cannot attend the wake of your great-great-grandpa, I, I don't know him. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> I'm just making an example. <laughs> like, know. first of all, it's not even your family member. <laughs> How dare you? It's not your mom or your dad or anything like that. And you get so, I'm like, she, this is probably why she's not a, su- a successful relationship expert. Because everything's about her. It's like, hey, I don't think that Gina and Bob is a perfect match. Well, I like Bob, so Gina's going on a date with him. God damn it, that's not how this works, Siggy. <laughs> and somebody on Twitter was like, I'll still call that bitch soggy. <laughs> Long- it get autocorrected anyway. <laughs> soggy cereal. It does. It does. It does get, I, I, maybe I, that's where well maybe you shouldn't blame margaret maybe you should blame the iphone I, because in <laughs> margaret's defense she probably went to text you or, or text about you the day after you pissed searched her for off the thread and put siggy and iphone said soggy and she said huh huh that sticks that's funny <laughs> <laughs> so are you mad at apple too bitch <laughs> You gonna sue them? <laughs> you gonna get mad at them? You gonna stop using our Apple iPhones and MacBooks? And right. All that kind of Unless stuff? the development person watches Real Housewives of New Jersey and said, "You know what would be fun? <laughs> Let's do an auto correct glitch." <laughs> <A> glitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh shit! Every time you type in Siggy, it's soggy. That little evil devil man pops up <laughs> emoji. <laughs> Dum, dum, dum. Right, but it's just it's it gets crazy. And then she was like, you know, out of all the things I've gone through, it just hurts so much. It's like, bitch, you act like you went through the Holocaust your damn right. self. You didn't. Your father did. I just I don't understand. And I just I don't understand. understand. Yes, I, I don't, don't understand. understand. What's her name? Erica from Bad Girls Club, Club. Mex- Season 9, Mexico. I don't, don't understand. understand. Uh, I don't uh, uh, uh. understand. We're voguing right now. <laughs> We're doing uh, uh, uh. it. <laughs> if you're listening, you should start doing it too. <laughs> and if you don't get it, just type in Erica, I don't understand. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, she's she's the worst. She's really the worst. And best of luck on her future endeavors. AKA, stop being a bitch. I'm going to say shit that Margaret ain't going to say. <laughs> you know, and Margaret's really a nice lady. She's so nice. Because, and I didn't even watch this full season. I'm not going to lie. At first, I was a little taken aback by the pigtails. But then I was like, oh, she seems really nice. But she's so much more of a woman than me. Because I would have been at that table and I would have been like, you ain't getting shit in the words of Evelyn Lozada. <laughs> I ain't giving you no damn apology. Fuck your apology. <laughs> and had Fuck I would your have family. Made... Remember... <laughs> Fuck you, Siggy Flicker. Fuck, Fuck your family. <laughs> no offense to your family, but fuck your family. <laughs> Everybody doesn't know that this is from the goods. <laughs> Classic movie. But no. And had I would have been the bigger woman and actually gave you an apology and saw how you acted like that, I would have went to twirl my pasta and I would have went to eat it. She and said right before, her pasta. right, because I'm a lady. And right before I went to put it in my mouth, I'm like, you know what? And another thing, fuck you, bitch. I don't apologize. I take 
back the apology. I revoke my apology. The apology never happened. <laughs> it never happened. And your apo- my apology, I apologize that I didn't come across this table and whoop your sensitive, soggy ass, bitch. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Angela. <laughs> Margaret would have been it's so funny that she had so much to shit about how she brought Margaret into the in the show and you know that's her why do people always feel the need to say that if you're if somebody does you wrong or if your friend does you wrong Mm -hmm. I notice like with all the friends that fall out Mm-hmm. who I guess were friends before the show started filming. Mm-hmm. One of the per- the people always have to say, well, I bought you on this show. Like, what does that have to do with anything? Is it that, it, do you feel, obviously you feel some sense of entitlement to that person getting on the show. So you just feel, well, I bought you on this show. Okay, bitch, but you didn't keep me on the show. You know how many fucking cast friends gets bought on the show and their scenes get scrapped on the editing floor? Right. You or might... they were like, "Oh, I like you." Eh, I'm taking that thought. We're not gonna exactly do anything so. But it's funny how she did all of that, and then now Margaret's left. Like she's the yeah. champion. Yeah. And go ahead, Margaret. And you know what? Merry Christmas to you because Merry you Christmas. posted us in a fucking post. I'm so happy she continues to post us and like be like thoughtful right. of towards people and I just really think that she's an awesome person and right. I think her mom is really cute. Mhm. I'd wear but, some pigtails for you. Yeah, but I know it's going to get worse and I know it's going to it have been brought up in the reunion. They already did the re- reunion like 2 3 weeks ago. So the finale should be coming up. Mhm. Um but I'm pretty sure they brought that up in the yeah. reunion and it was just, yeah. but the fact that she was like, Oh, I had to think about it. I'm not going to come in this season. Like so many po- people posted, like they were so happy. They had even had a picture. Sorry, Luann, but even a picture of Luann dancing <laughs> and like, a gif, like, right. Yeah. Yeah. God dang it. Luann. Who knew that you going to Palm beach will make you go fucking crazy. You lose your countess title. The need for, you know, manners and civility doesn't matter. The only title I'll trade in countess for is felon. I was just <laughs> thinking that. I was just thinking that for <laughs> Replace my wedding picture with my mugshot. Right. <laughs> and it was a pretty, I would say on the fabulous side. Yeah, a little. Yeah. It wasn't. Portia. For the, um. Yeah. It wasn't a Porsche. Yeah. Shot, but but it for was, the fact yeah. that she was telling people she was going to kill them and was, you know, a, you know, resisting arrest and stuff. Right. She looked pretty decent. Mm-hmm. No, you know, mascara smudging and all that kind yeah. of stuff. But yeah, I mean, people are super happy that she's not going to be on the show. I feel like Margaret apologizing to her and she not even looking her direction. Not Bitch, you could have nodded at least like, you know, mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Like you could have did that. You didn't even do that. Yeah. Like you are. Really She's just a really bitch. extra. And like I said, she bet you know, and she better be lucky it wasn't even somebody like Teresa because they probably like you know what, bitch. Fuck your apology. <laughs> Fuck you. You know what sticky stands for? <laughs> I don't know. But. She would have said some analogy where, you know, right. the G was really a J word. <laughs> We're like, Teresa, that doesn't spell. Siggy, she was like, cunt. Like, <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> you want me to call you cunt? Is that better? <laughs> like, that's something Teresa would have said. <laughs> you want me to call you bitch? Is that better? <laughs> oh, my God. But, yeah, I, I'm so happy she's gone yeah so on to the second person that blocked us and i really don't understand why drum roll mr jack fucking taylor (laughs) i really don't know why he blocked us all i said in our description of the post on instagram was jack screams at britney that's it that's all i said it's not a, you know, demeaning character ca- characterization of him. It was none of Maybe that. Maybe he went and listened to one of our podcasts and said, oh, fuck these bitches. <laughs> Maybe. Who knows? But we even said in like one in the past show, I think last week, like, we, 
we're we like Jax. We just know that he's a piece of shit. Honestly, yeah. the show would probably be boring if Jax wasn't on there. Yeah. Because he's always doing all the rumors and... His shenanigans keeps the show going. Yeah. Like, who else has really has shenanigans? Not on his level. Somehow it's always about him. Or if it is someone else's drama, he's the one revealing it. Revealing it it or igniting the flames or, you know, putting gasoline on it. Like, he's always the one Mm -hmm. and the fact that and i have been following him on my personal for years because i think he's funny i'm like oh look at him in his chunky sweater ha 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 like but now it's like okay block away but i don't know i didn't call you a douchebag on social media or a 40 year old with no license i thought it's insurance you never know with those people what's those people or you know you were arrested in Miami for stealing glasses. Oh, yeah, like, that's right. I thought it was just in Beverly Hills. I thought it was when they were on vacation or something. Maybe he did both. Probably, because I remember he did have to go back somewhere. Uh huh. But I do remember he missed work. Yeah. So, I don't know. Yeah. But, I mean. I mean, there's plenty of other things that could have been said about you to make you want to hit that block button. But the fact that it was the least nastiest thing that has ever been said about you whatever i just laughed and was like we fucking made it because we have been blocked but the fact that these people are so sensitive and we're not even it's not like we said fuck your unborn kids or anything. <laughs> or, some people behind the keyboards they get twitter fingers and they say some off the wall shit oh yeah we haven't even said anything nearly that bad i don't no. know maybe he was tired of being tagged and stuff i don't know he's probably being tagged left and right so i mean the only person i really should if they were going to block me would be britney let's see if britney blocked us oh my god because <laughs> apparently Jax just went to kentucky for christmas oh of course he did so uh they're still together this would be nice to see if we are blocked on Instagram by Britney. So let's see. Oh, no, we're not. See, she... Th- well, see, maybe because she's like, yeah, you screamed at me, Jax. Like, <laughs> it's the truth. Right, just don't listen to our podcast. <laughs> right, but um, I I thought it was funny. Um, You know what I didn't think was funny? What? This whole thing with Tamar and Vince, like, it's so... I know it's about to end. It's not that many episodes. It's, like, maybe seven or eight. Yeah. Um, It's just so uncomfortable because she wants to move out and get her own place. Yeah. And didn't even bring it up with Vince. And she's already, like, looking at places. Oh, wow. um, She reunited with Tiny because they stopped talking for, like, a year or something like that. I remember that. And pretty much Tiny was like, um, get you a new hus- um, new manager before you need a new husband. Right. Pretty much. Because that was their issue was a lot of, like, work stuff. Yeah. So, they get in arguments. And it's like, Jesus, this has been brewing yeah. for quite some time. Now, you know, in the beginning, she was talking about how she and Vince were Velcro. And they did everything together. Yeah. And then the sisters were annoyed because when it was just, like, a sister ship... She will bring Vince along. Right, right. But it's like, well, now you're saying that you don't like Velcro. And to me, it's weird because she always talked about her other sisters not being as Velcro with their yeah. husbands as she was with Vince. And now you and Vince are getting a divorce. I don't like that. Like, you talk so much shit about your your siblings. Yeah. And their, their relationships and marriage, and then now yours is going down. And the fact that out of all five sisters, only one has, hasn't had a divorce. Yeah. And that's the one who had a kid at, like, 19. Yeah. So, um, it's just crazy. I know Trina did have her kids young because yeah. her oldest is like 22 or 23, yeah. but still, like, it's only one sister. But that's just kind of, I guess, telling of the dynamic of their family in a sense mm-hmm. when so many women yeah. in one family can't stay married. Yeah. 
it's just, I don't know. But anyway, it's just been like kind of weird that they put it on camera. Yeah. But I, I, I mean, I guess I've, obviously you can get your coins, but yeah, I don't know. It's just some things I feel like I don't think I necessarily will want. On TV. I personally don't think I could ever do reality TV. Yeah. Yeah. I think. I mean for her. Well even for them. I think that. I think Tamar is a big lesson of. One. Not to trust everything that you see. Between stuff that you see on social media. Or half the time. Not even to trust what. People show you. Because there are some people. That will. Put off the facade that everything is perfect. And we know, like, you know, not every relationship is perfect. I don't need you to come and tell me everything that's wrong with your relationship. Um, But the way she would always just constantly like, well, my marriage is here. Everybody else is there. I can tell you what to do, like, night and day. I can tell you this is why your marriage isn't working. And now you're trying to put out I'm not gonna say try to put out but the story has now been put out that you have been in a domestic abuse situation Mm. and you've been unhappy for quite a long time so it's just kind of like if I was friends with her or even if I was her sister I would just look at her and be like full of shit like I always knew you were but mama wouldn't let me tell you that because I'd get in trouble right and I would just keep it pushing I would be sipping that tea at every crying session like this bitch. (laughs) You know, it's like one of them people that's just like, you poor peasants. And then they find out they broke, so they at the Sizzler with you the next week. Sizzler. (laughs) Because they don't Hey, I was just a Sizzler today. No offense. (laughs) That was the only thing I could think of. (laughs) Salad bar is really good, too. (laughs) Oh, they have some, them wings. Oh, my God. Sorry, I'm being fat. (laughs) And I'm so hungry. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, it was just, I don't know, awkward. Um, I honestly can't remember anything else. I don't have an outline. So, hopefully this next year for her will also be better. You know, all you people on reality TV, Siggy, Jax, Tamar, um, I'm going to, I'm not going to pray. I'm not even going to lie. God know my heart. I'm going to wish you better blessings in 2018 and maybe better things will happen. Siggy, I'm going to hope that you can stop being such a sensitive bitch and making everything about you. I am going to wish for Jax to, you know, keep his dick in his pants before he doesn't fall off. Right. Before you put in the wrong hole and you can't come back up again. Um, Tamar, I'm going. I don't even know what to wish you. I just, I hope you find what you're looking for. Boom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I kind of hope that she finds what she's looking for because, I mean, no matter how they got there, divorce is yeah. never easy. It's very emotional. It's very up and down, especially how bad they've been arguing even right. on camera. I'm pretty sure before they'd be able to do it behind the scenes and now they right. just can't contain it anymore. Yeah. Um, and I know, I know she loved him. Oh, I, yeah. No, yeah. they've been together. I mean, they only been married for like eight years. Yeah. But like, they've been yeah. together for like 16 years since yeah. she was like 26. So she's 40 or 41 now. Yeah. So, so they have been together for quite some time. Um, I think they're just super different in the fact that Tamar's from like a huge ass family. Mm hmm. Um, I don't think she's had a lot of huge significant deaths in her family. Yeah. And Vince is the opposite. It's like everybody he ever loved passed away. Yeah. So he likes to be together all the time and she likes to be with different people. Right. Like all the time. Yeah. So I guess it just, I mean, part of what she was saying, she was like, I'm not, you know, a kid and I'm not 26 anymore. And yeah. Things of that nature. But I mean, at the same time, it's like. 26, you didn't feel like you were into yourself, like the person you're supposed to be by then? Yeah. I mean, no, yeah, that is very true. That's why it's like relationships, even in your 20s, it's like you're grown. Because I don't think I fully, 
Hmm, when did I find myself? Such a deep question. Right. <laughs> I want to say it was later 20s, maybe mm-hmm. 20, 28. Yeah. But, you know, um, I mean, oh, yeah. Best of luck, girl. And Vince. Yeah. And yeah, I want the best for Logan too. He's such a cute he little is. boy. So I know that's going to be really hard is. for him to always have parents together to now yeah. getting to a place where it's going to be everything separate. Mm-hmm. So um, I'm trying to figure out if there's another episode I missed. I know I had checked earlier today. There weren't any a lot of episodes. So um But that being said, because it is going to be a new year Mm -hmm. and things of that nature, we are going to take a little winter break. Mm -hmm. So we will return to do an episode on January 9th. No, we're going to record the 9th, but we're (laughs) going to release the next episode on the 10th. So we'll be taking... Yeah. It's not so, that long, but you know. Yeah. It, but 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 it will be good because Love and Hip Hop Miami starts on the first, yes, Catfish yes. starts on the second. Um you'll have a, a few episodes of Jersey, a mm-hmm. few episodes of Row, I think. So we'll have plenty to talk. I just feel like we won't have anything to yeah. talk to uh talk about next week. Um unless you want to hear about us, but that's not the purpose of this podcast. Mm-hmm. <laughs> to hear about my boring ass life. But I will say, this week and a half with no kid about to be lit. <laughs> and that means I'm just going to sleep all day. <laughs> right. But all you parents know, like, when you don't have your kid or kids around, mm-hmm. one of the things you want to do is, like, sleep and just right. do nothing because you're constantly doing something when your child's around especially a kid like mine who wants to eat all the time not an ounce of big on him and he eats like no tomorrow mm-hmm. so um but in the meantime you guys have plenty of time to catch up on the um this episode and the first six episodes uh, we're on itunes um slash apple podcasts yep. youtube and spreaker Yep. Yes, you can we are. follow us on all of our social media on. Now I was about to say Snapchat. <laughs> I was on Snapchat earlier. We're not on Snapchat. Mm-mm. We're on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Instagram and Twitter is reality underscore v, and Facebook you can just you know put in reality hyphen v, and yeah, just follow us. If you want to send us your T mail, you can send it at realityv at gmail dot com. And you can follow me personally. I don't mind you guys doing that because, <laughs> you know, before it's like I was private and people would like request me. The request would sit there for like six months <laughs> because I'm right. like, I don't know you, but I'm not open. I am now open to people like adding me on social media. So you can find me on Instagram at Fumi Adagu. Adagu. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired. Fumi Adagu, F U E. N is a Nancy M I A D A G U N, and you can find me on Twitter, same name. I'm not going to give you my Facebook because it's super duper long. I might need to make a handle. Mm. I'll make a handle. I'll tell you guys next time. Where can you be found, B? Um, if you want to find me on Instagram, I have two pages. Uh, leave it to B L E A V E. It two. B. The number two. Yes, the number two. Um, That's mostly like my life and my event planning adventures and all that good stuff. And then my second one is Leave It To Be Living. That's also my life, but then it shows, you know, uh, my life as a lifestyle blogger. Not that updated, so I guess I'm not the best lifestyle blogger. Um, mm-hmm. But yeah, you can find me on there and... um. I leave you guys, you know, for all of you who do have your New Year's resolutions, I encourage you to follow them, set a goal, uh, make it happen, live your life, be happy, find happiness. A lot of you aren't that happy, and that's why, you know, some of you have the traits that you do. Like being a soggy. 
Yeah, you're just not happy. So, you know, find what makes you happy. Live life to the fullest. Handle your responsibilities. Drink water. Um, (laughs) (laughs) What the fuck? (laughs) Hey, (laughs) drink water. That's probably Um, why I got a headache. And, you know, just live to be a better you. Um, I know our show talks a lot about reality shows, but also don't let what you see on reality TV and social media influence your life. If you like to watch it, if you like to spend hours on The Shade Room and on other various blogs, let it be your entertainment, but don't let it consume your life. Um, right. Don't feel like you need to keep up with the Joneses if, you know, you only got $25 in your pocket. Either pay a bill or, you know, use it for groceries. Don't use it to, you know, go buy a bottle and post selfies or go to the club when you know, you know, you have other priorities. Just make 2018 a year to be a better more responsible version of you we're all getting older and we all keep saying it's my year i'm about to make this and this happen but after a few years when we don't see nothing happening you become a joke so and i really do laugh at you in my head yes yes we've had some good laughs so you know this year don't be the butt of the joke right you know, so go whatever goals you have set for. I wish you luck. I wish you blessings and have a happy new year. And I will be checking in with you on the 9th. Yes. And well, technically the 10th, but 10th. Yeah. It'll be released on the 10th. Right. I almost forgot you guys. So me and B um, really want to start doing giveaways and yes. things of that nature. Yes. We are the plug. So, um, Definitely you should sh- follow us on social media because you would totally be missing out. Um, we're going to be doing a giveaway. But the first requirement we have to have is reaching 350 followers on Instagram. Mm-hmm. Once we have reached the 350 followers on Instagram, we will let you know what the instructions or rules will be to win the prize. Yes. Now, there are some I, good prizes. It, I don't have want to give away the first one just yet i feel like we need to kind of wait until we get 350 followers Mm -hmm. so it's nice (laughs) yeah it's really nice it's really really nice so please go ahead and follow us on all other three um sites that we mentioned before and tag three people so they can follow us too we're almost at 300 so it really shouldn't take that long but the sooner the better. And so once we get to 350, we will let you know what to do and what the prize is. And I personally have used this before and it's really, really, really nice. So tell your friends, tell your wife, tell your kids. Hi, yeah. Hide your wife. Hide your kids. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Um, yeah. So that will be, I'm excited to do it and give it away. Um, we're, I maybe will do a live once we do the 350 and kind of go over the rules about mm-hmm. how and um it's going to be done and how long you have i don't know maybe we give them like two to three weeks mm-hmm. to w- once the entry starts so yeah. um and one person will be able to to bask in this gift and yeah. we're going to keep doing it so yeah we've got the gifts coming yeah so you really should start putting reviews on youtube speaker and apple podcasts we definitely look at those. We might do raffles and just put, mm-hmm. you know, names in a basket for those who review, for those who comment or anything like that. You never know no. what's going to happen. Yes. So, and you never know what the prize is going to be. Um, we might do, I think we're going to start doing like hidden words in our episodes. So mm-hmm. maybe once a month or every other month, you have to get, you know, three to four words Be the first person to email us or be the first group to email us. And then we'll send you a prize after you send us your address. So uh, we have some huge things coming up in 2018 and we really want you to be a part of it. Yes. Um, And so, yeah, do that. Review, follow us, email us. Um, The more interactive you are, the better because you'll get to know what's going on in the future. So, yes. With that being said, I'm Fumi. And I'm B. And this is Reality TV. Bye. <laughs>